everybody, welcome to the wormhole and today we have got to clean out the king snake tank. We have had a request to show him and the progress we have made, so come take a look. Let's see how we did. So here he is, I just got him out of the tank. He is about a year and a half, probably getting close to two years now. Just beautiful, it has an awesome attitude for a king snake and is super chilled out so much since we got him. Now he is a boy. <laughs> we had a confirmation when we got him on his sheet just to make sure. And these guys are so cool. Just as a snake themselves, they have been known to eat rattlesnakes. They are immune to venom, so a totally kick-ass snake to begin with as well. And as he's getting bigger, he is definitely getting very impressive. The pattern on this guy is just gorgeous. I love these speckles of orange, especially near the tail. His name is Orion, as in Orion's belt. I just thought it was super cute and double checked and everybody does like it on the channel as well. When I first got him, I used to be able to stick him in a bucket, but now he's had to go into a larger container. He's just getting too big. Absolutely beautiful. King snakes are known for being really great at escaping, so so far I've been very happy that I haven't had anything happen and this room is completely sealed off because I have been known to accidentally leave containers open. So this is the final setup. When I got them it was fairly sparse but I have been learning and getting better and collecting things as I go to make his enclosure a lot more entertaining. The live plant in there has been surviving and so much fun just to see if I can get it to go in this entertaining environment. His water bowl is getting to the point where I am going to need to make him a bigger area because they do like to soak in water as well as they're getting near shedding time. Here he is out exploring his nice clean tank. He does enjoy that. I can tell he goes around for several hours after it's been done and checking out all the little neat places I've now given him to explore, climb through, and see what kind of trouble he can get into. These guys do like fitting into places that they probably shouldn't, so do be very aware of what you're sticking in the tank. I will leave a link to a video up above of how this guy did get stuck in a little hole of cork bark. Otherwise, I hope everybody enjoyed the update on the king. If you have any questions, don't be scared to shoot me an email down below. Hit the like button if you liked this video, and I can include other care videos and what I do for this guy as well. This little shell there was his first hot hide that I put in there. He can still get under there. He does have to push his way in and I do catch him curling up under it still. I will have to upgrade it, but for now he still fits under there and I think it's super cute when he still uses it. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye for now.